welcome back to a new video on the 1974 Tri-Sport Z340. 340cc, two-stroke, street legal. If you guys missed the first video on this, go check it out. I will leave it up here. And uh, you guys can go watch that one before I pick it up. This thing had no spark when I first picked it up. And we got spark on it, and we actually got it to run last video. And uh, this video we plan to take it for the first ride. So we need to do a couple things. I got some new grips for it. I got a smaller gas tank for it. The gas tank that came with it was wrecked. It was cut in half. Looks like somebody dropped something on it. And then we want to get the lights working and the brake to work a little bit better. I guess these things are supposed to be crazy fast uh, when they're running right. So if we can get it running and driving good, it's going to be insane. Um, but yeah, I do have the title for it, so um, if it does run good, I mean, I go to the DMV and make this thing street legal so I can ride it on the road, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. It does have all the blinkers and the lights, so it is possible, and it does have a horn. Um, the horn does work. And it does have the speedo gauge with 4,423 miles on it. So, I guess without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so one of the things we want to add is a gas tank. All I could find online was this little guy right here. The next size up would have been too big. So we might have to modify something else in the future, but this will give us at least enough runtime to test this thing out and drive it for, you know, a little bit. And we can continuously add gas to it, you know. I'm not gonna take it too far. If we're gonna ride it on the road, um, far distances, obviously the gas tank needs to be increased. So it's pretty small. But uh, this has to fit right underneath here. So that fits up in there. So we need to make like a bracket or something to hold that in. So let's do that next. All right, so this is what I came up with here. We've got that gas tank. I'll fit around there like that. We've got the gas cap. You should lock it down pretty tight here. If it doesn't, we'll add a couple spacers. So there, now it won't go anywhere. I'm gonna add a couple O-rings in there just to keep it nice and tight. But uh, I think that's gonna work. We'll see how it lines up when we put it on here. And then I got a fuel shutoff valve for it as well. So we'll add a fuel shutoff between here and the gas tank so we can shut it off whenever we want. All right, here's the fuel line. Let's just cut that like right here. And we'll add in our clamps here. And the fuel shut off here. Another clamp. We don't want any fuel leaking back here. <laughs> we don't want to start a fire. Uh, this one goes like that. <laughs> All right, now we've got the fuel shut off. And it's gonna sit there like that. And we shouldn't have any leaks coming from there. That's awesome.
All right, we've got a fuel tank. That's awesome. You know what I might do is put the fuel off switch over here so I can reach down and just control that without having to go all the way back here with it. I think that might be smarter. All right, now we've got a fuel shut off right there as well. So we have two of them just in case. <laughs> so the gas tank is all set up working. Fuel is flowing through. You can see the arrows on the shut off are going in the right direction. So we're all set there. Next, I want to change out these grips quick. They're just bugging me. So let's get these grips off of here and replace those. that one. That one is a little bit thicker. We'll have to see if the grip is going to fit over that one. Might not. All right, new grips are installed. It looks a lot better. Cool. All right, now we gotta tackle the light situation. Um, none of the lights are working, so. Let's try to figure that out next. All right, I think we got the lights working here. High and low. All right, so this thing needs to be grounded to the handlebars. It's just making a bad connection there for the blinkers to work, but we got everything working. That is pretty sweet. <laughs> Lights are working, blinkers are working, switches are working. Um, so what I did back here was hook up this wire to ground up here, and then there's a gray wire right here. I hooked that up to positive. So all we have to do is rewire that and we should be good to go. And this one should plug right in to the back and still work. But it looks like a black one. This might be going to ground as well. We'll have to see.
Yeah, there's 12 volts going to it. All right, upon further inspection, there's no bulb in the headlight right here, and then the blinker wire is out of it right here. So I think we're gonna take off the lens to the light right here and just see if we can get a bulb in there. Crusty on this thing. The last thing I wanna do is break the lens. I'm sure you can't find one of these anywhere. Yeah, there's no light bulb in there. So it looks like what was happening, these two are getting fed electricity. If this one's not even hooked up. And it's just hit, hitting the light bulb in there. That is interesting. <laughs> Nothing is really hooked up to this thing though. So I think we're gonna leave the lights off in the back for now. Um, Yeah, that uh, looks like you need a special bulb for that. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a grease gun and go through all the bearings and everything and just try to apply as much grease as we can to the bearings. This thing's been sitting for a long time. Try to apply some grease around the bearings and maybe it'll pack in there eventually. Let's see anything that spins here. This bearing, unfortunately, looks like it's a little bit rough on the outside here. And pack that one full. Looks like they had tape over that at one point. Then these actually have grease fittings down here. If I can get to them. That one's greased up. Are there any grease fittings on the axle? It doesn't look like it. We'll get the other side here. Should be one over here somewhere. There we go. Alright, that's greased up. Um, can't really do much more with the shaft here. We can try to get the tensioner. And there, it greased up a little bit. For the speedo cable. All right, I think that's everything. All right, we got the battery installed. Check this out. Oh yeah, we have lights. Let's get the cover on the back on, and then we'll attempt to start this thing up.
<laughs> All right, everything's good to go. Should we see if she starts up? See if she fires up here. this thing for a ride. We'll see if she moves. to ride on the road it's uh both tires in the back just spin this thing is really cool though really fun so weird riding it it's running good though running really good
Sometimes my switch comes on down here. Catchy with only the front brake. Bet you this thing could flip pretty easily. <laughs> Look at the turning radius on this thing. Go. I wish I was on a straightaway. Yeah, she's fast. Really fast. I'm scared to go any faster, honestly. Maybe if we had a straightaway, but that front wheel is wobbling like that. I'm not going that much faster. And the chain tensioner is held on by a spring. That's like barely holding on. 
Oh yeah. This thing is crazy. <laughs> wow. Runs good though. Really good. So for whatever reason now the pull cord doesn't grab. Only grabs sometimes. So we gotta take this off again and check out that that pull cord mechanism. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the teeth are bad now or what. Oh, we don't have a pull cord over on this side either. Darn. Thought maybe we had an extra one. We don't. So hopefully we can still get this thing to turn over. So hopefully it's not broken in there. We had this off once before when checking the points here. Don't know what happened to it. Something breaking here. Doesn't really look like anything's broken off except for that one corner right there. I don't know if that was enough to do it or what. I think that's what's worn out. The teeth in here. Darn. That sucks. You can see in there. Some little smooth. Huh. It doesn't have any teeth for these guys to grab. See these little guys come out and they're supposed to grab those teeth. That's kind of a bad design, isn't it? I don't like that. Huh. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, I think I got it fixed. I welded some tack welds right on the inside diameter of that thing, so now the teeth can grab, and it seems like it's working pretty good. So we got that fixed. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but it seems like having it out here was why it ruined it, because those teeth are activating when it's out to here, and it just ground them all off, so we're just gonna leave it in there like that, and we'll have to reach through and grab it from now on. So, at least we can drive it now. All right, so video is not over yet. <laughs> So you know that 400EX that I bought for 1500 bucks and then rebuilt it? The big bore 440. I ended up trading it for the trailer right here. Got a new trailer. So this is a mid-size trailer. I believe it's six by 12. Aluminum. Bridge line. Trailer. I think these go for like 3000. The guy said it was a 2021 or 2022. So he only used it a couple times. Has a weight capacity. It says do not exceed 2,224 pounds. Um, let's see if it has the year on here. Does not look like it has the year. Here's the VIN. Oh, it's 2017 was the date of manufacture. But I believe, I guess he bought it in 2021. So all aluminum. Got the nice tie downs in the back and the front here. Then the gate that folds down. So that's nice, no more ramps. But now I don't have to hook up the big trailer every time I want something like a snowmobile or 
side by side. We can just take this thing. All the lights work on it, everything's good to go. So instead of using this one over here, that's usually too small for snowmobiles. It's only an eight footer. We'll use a 12 footer and uh, we should be good to go. So it's really dirty. He drove from two hours away in the snowstorm and it's got all the ice and uh, salt all over it right now. So I'm gonna go pressure wash it, but just wanted to update you guys on the new trailer. That will make things a lot easier for us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the Tri-Sport Z340. That thing is absolutely insane. And uh, I can't wait to get some studded wheels on that thing and take it on the ice. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out.